Hi everyone, it's me, Victoria. I just wanted to share some really exciting news with you guys. I am officially cosplaying at Anime Nebraska Con this year, 2014. I'm so excited! Ah, alright, so I will be play I will be cosplaying Suki from Avatar The Last Airbender, and my friend Sydney, uh, B, Sydney B will be cosplaying Azula, and then Sydney Tolan, also known as Sydney is Confused, I'll put a link to her channel in the description, she is going to be cosplaying Katara. It's gonna be so much fun, I'm so excited, and oh, well, my boyfriend's going to be cosplaying too, but he's cosplaying a doctor. He's not one of the doctors. He's not going to be cosplaying, uh, like, Zuko or Sokka or anything, which would have been pretty cool if he had cosplayed Sokka, but he's just not on our level. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to try to post videos as I get stuff going. Um, we already have the room. Uh, Sydney, Sydney is confused. I, there's two Sydneys. Sorry, this is going to get confusing, but Katara Sydney um, has already got the hotel room booked. It's going to be awesome. Oh, oh, and Sydney B's brother is going to be Zuko and so it's gonna be awesome and I haven't actually met him yet but according to Sydney he's an awesome dude and he's so much fun he says that he has my like attitude with my boyfriend's like quiet shyness so that'll be really interesting to see what that's like in like one person anyway I'm going to try to put up videos uh, as I get stuff set up um, I don't have my wig yet I don't have anything yet actually but when I like get my wig on I'll like do a little quick video about it um, I don't know if I'll do tutorials, because obviously, like I said, this is my first time cosplaying, and I'm not exactly, <laughs> I am not pro in any way about any of this, and I'm going to try to make most of my cosplay from scratch. I already got a basic idea of how I want to do it, and I actually, I work at the, um, in the costume department here on campus, and they have already said that I can use their machines and everything, not everything, I have to get my own fabric, but I can use all their, like, equipment and stuff and I can ask them questions if I need it which will be really helpful because I've never made something like this before but I will try to keep keep videos going posting uh I'll try to be posting videos to keep you guys informed on all that I'm doing and I'm so excited <laughs> all right so um that is all I wanted to tell you guys um I will try to keep videos coming about this whole cosplay thing oh, I'm so excited oh and she probably will never watch this video, but I'm going to link her uh, channel in the description also. But you should definitely check out uh, Mango Sirene's channel, because she is the one that got me so inspired to do all this, and she's an excellent cosplayer. Oh my gosh, her stuff is so beautiful. And if she watches this by chance, I love you, you're amazing, and thank you so much for replying to my question on Tumblr about how you... Wait... No, that's a different person. I'm sorry, I'm getting my people mixed up now. Uh, anyway. No, sorry, the person I, um, the Tumblr thing was, there is this amazing, amazing cosplay. I, I can't think, I don't know her name, but she did this amazing cosplay of Suki um, a few years ago. And so I asked her about how she did her armor and she gave me some pointers. And that's who I met. Like, thank you to you. <laughs> oh, I, I cannot think of her name for the life of me, but I will also put her... Tumblr in the description, just in case you guys are interested. Um, yay. So excited. <sighs> Alright, so I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, I, I just can't stop freaking out about this. I'm so excited. Oh! Also, I might, I don't know about this yet, but, okay, so Anime Brass Con is actually falling, the first Friday of it is falling on Halloween this year, which is going to be super fun. And I may be redoing a costume that I had for la for 2013 Halloween. I might be... I didn't make it. I bought it. Don't, I'm not even going to take credit for it. But I might be reworking it because I was the Red Queen last year. It was like a... Sl not a slutty. It wasn't that slutty, but it was like a teenager Red I don't know. But I'm thinking about trying to transform it into kind of a Dark Alice instead of like a Red Queen thing. So I might be working on that to uh, turn it into another costume so that I don't waste it because obviously it cost me a little bit of money and I obviously and I do not want to just have it for this one holiday or for that one holiday I think it'd be awesome to be able to wear it again and like repurpose it so if I do I might keep you guys updated on that I don't know how interested you'd be in that obviously there's not a lot of you that watch these videos but if you would be interested in seeing how I'm reworking my previous costume I can um, like show you what it looked like originally and then I can kind of walk you through what I'm doing to change it up and make it more Alice instead of Red Queen. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. Uh, hope you guys are all doing good, and I'm going to go because I have accounting homework. 
Yay! Accounting and French, actually. I was a bad student today. I skipped French. I'm getting really bad about that, actually. I need to... Ugh. You know, like, last semester, the first semester of college, I was like, I can't skip. I can't skip. I cannot miss classes. And the first time I thought about skipping, I called my mom. And I was like, Mom, do you think I should skip class? Because I don't know. I'm really, really tired and I'm not feeling the best. What do you think? And then she gave me the advice. And oh, I freaked out so much about skipping last semester. It was ridiculous. And this semester, I'm just like, I'm tired. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll just, I'll wake up later. I can make up the homework, blah, blah, blah. But the problem is, like, for each class I miss after my five free class misses, I get a percent, a percent docked for my grade. So, ugh, I'm so bad about this. And I keep skipping my 8 o'clock recitation. It's on Monday. How stupid was I? I put my 8 o'clock recitation for political, for political science on a Monday. What was I thinking? I never get up for that. But anyway, so cosplay. <laughs> so excited. Um, I will, yeah, keep you guys updated. Um, like I said, uh, if you want to see what I'm going to be doing with my other costume, which I think I am going to do it. Whether, whether or not I wear it for, co for a Nebraska con, I am going to change it somehow. So if you want to see what I do with that, let me know. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.